Well, let's go back to that breaking news. We brought you at the top of the newscast talking about that stabbing this morning at the campus of Alexander High School in Douglas County where one student was injured, forcing a lockdown. We're waiting for authorities there to get ready. Let's listen into what they have uh, learned about this crime this morning. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being with us. Uh, we want to give you an update on what happened uh, this morning. Uh, we had an incident where a student was injured by another student. Uh, the student was immediately placed on lockdown. Our law enforcement officers, the school resource officers, worked along with the staff um, to secure everyone. We have one student that was transported to a local hospital uh, where he is receiving medical condition. And at this current time, we are partnering on the investigation with the Douglas County uh, Sheriff's Office, uh, looking for um, uh, suspects involved, as well as still continuing the investigation. And you know the condition of that student? At this time, um, I don't have any updates on the condition of the student, um, but we're you know respecting the the family and letting them um, notify everyone they need to and giving them their space. Was the student conscious and alert when he left the school? Yes. What's the status of the suspect? still outstanding, but again, uh, working with our partners at the Sheriff's Department, we are conducting a very, very thorough search. What does the school video show? Well, we're still assessing that. That's part of the investigation. So as the investigation goes, we'll have more information to share. We just don't have a full story right now for you because it's it's only just been a little while. Male or female student that was stabbed? Male or female that was stabbed? It was a male student. Two male involved? From the way it looks, there may have been two males involved. Anyone else injured during this altercation? No. Where? And do you believe the suspect went to the school as well? Were these both students within the school? Do believe that they were both students. Where in the school did all of this occur? This happened in the cafeteria near the cafeteria area. And where was the, the student struck? I am. We are. We are not quite certain right now. Uh, again, like I said, you know, I don't have all the medical information right now. But uh, medical attention was given uh, immediately, and the, uh, the student was transported to the local hospital. And this was a stabbing. We don't know what was used, so we're still investigating. Was there a puncture wound? We believe there was a puncture wound. Don't know what was used. Do you believe there was a gun on campus? No. There's no information. There's no evidence that says that there was a gun on campus. But no knife or, or weapon was recovered. Uh, like I said, still investigating, still assessing the scene, as well as assessing other things. What's your message for the district community, who's obviously very rattled up about this? The message for the district community is that our schools are safe. Alexander High School is safe. Our schools are safe. We have invested millions of dollars over the last five years in, in security procedures, as uh, one of those investments has been my department, which was established two years ago. So we have law enforcement as a part of the uh, school staff, as well as we have other things that are in place. I don't want to be specific about the other things that we're in place because th those are our things that help protect our students. But uh, safety is our number one priority. What, what have you spent the millions on? Taxpayer money, they should know what their money is going towards. What are but, they saying? Uh, again, uh, uh, a police department, as well as other things to use along with the security people that are in place. Is that more staff, new technology? I, I can go ahead and speak a little bit to that. Well, one of the things that we've um, invested considerable resources into is we have invested $5 million over five years into um, upgrades, and that includes security cameras. We've got crisis alert technology where um, our employees and our administrators are able to use their badges to immediately alert first responders with their badges to let people know and immediately lock down the campus, which is what we we're able to do today. We have um, security cameras that are able to document things in just about every area of our campus, which are, will be able to assist us today during our investigation. And that $5 million over five years, that's also assisted us with um, our Raptor technology, technology, which is our visitor management system. So we have invested considerable amounts of, t of our funding into our technology as far as safety and security. So Douglas County Schools continue to be very safe places to send our students to school and it's a very safe place for parents to continue sending our students to school so we continue to have a tremendous amount of confidence in our schools and our campuses. So you, to today's incident. you believe that this incident was captured on video today? Absolutely, yes. We do, but it, again it is being reviewed now to see exactly what's captured so I can't share because we don't have all of the info right what now. I'm getting to it should give you an idea who the suspect is, right? 
Okay, it, will, it will give us some information, mm -hmm. but again, this is still an investigation, and we will continue looking to see what clues and what details that we can get from that video surveillance. And of course, but any investigation doesn't just involve video. It also involves questioning students, and that part of the investigation will continue. And because we have our police department, an independent police department, and that's a yet an additional investment that we have made into our school system and the safety of our students, our Douglas County School System Police Department, we will conduct our own investigation and we can also continue to partner with the Douglas County Police Department as well as the Douglas County Sheriff's Office. Do you have the age of we don't, want to, sure we we don't want to give that. any personal information right now. Mm -hmm. Again, we're respecting all the boundaries as far as mm -hmm. uh, allowing the parents to, you know, con contact who they need to contact and to go through their, mm -hmm. their process. Can right you say now. whether or not they're adults, though? 18 are these juveniles? I do, we do not believe they're adults. There's okay. video circulating on social media of somebody in handcuffs. Uh, can you speak on who that might have been? Having not seen that video. I have no. not seen that video. And so if all the students are safe right now, why clear out the campus? Don't well, the campus isn't being clear. If parents would like to pick up their students, we're allowing them to do that. If parents want their students to stay, the, the, there are several students who are still on campus and they are you know, being taken care of by the staff. Yes. So it's not being Classes. cleared. Still we still have many students still on campus. How long was the lockdown? Uh, at about 8.30. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what? it was lifted at 10.15. What is a code red lockdown? What does that mean? A code red, um, would you like to elaborate, but a code red is when there are no check-ins and no checkouts. Everyone is to stay where they are. And that's a complete lockdown. Mm -hmm. All exterior doors are locked and um, movement in the school ceases. What happens to Okay, so you've been listening to an update there from the school police chief for the Douglas County School Resource Office, as well as the spokeswoman from Douglas County School saying, uh, talking about that stabbing at the school this after this morning, saying that one student, uh, both of the people involved, the victim and the person who did the stabbing, both students, not saying much about the condition of the student right now, only to say that the student was alert, conscious, and breathing when that student was taken to the hospital, and the search continued for the student who stabbed the fellow classmate.